Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. I hope you enjoyed the day today. As we mentioned earlier, it gets chilly this time of year in the morning, but the afternoon is still pretty pleasant. And uh, normally we're in the 60s, but our temperatures are going above average and certainly above average tomorrow. A lot of cloud cover this morning, but a beautiful sunrise here. And it's going to be great for photographers over the next few days. You don't want a crystal clear sky for pictures. You want to have some cloud cover. That's been the case right in here. And you'll see it today. Blue skies, then those high thin clouds still moving through. I think we'll see a lot of these high thin clouds during the day tomorrow as well. So just keep that in mind. On Wednesday, we could actually get a little bit of rain. Looking out towards Nampa here, the uh, I-84 Franklin Road interchange and uh, traffic running smoothly, but it's still rather uh, busy out there right now. 76 degrees, so really warming up. This tells me the atmosphere is going to be warm tomorrow, so I'm going to think we're going to be near 80 for a high temperature tomorrow. I've got 78 for Boise, but the way the temperature is rising today is good southeast breeze here is really what's helping that. This is going to return tomorrow, and I think 75 to 80, some places could top 80 tomorrow by a degree or two, so it will be maybe the last 80 degree day. We'll have to see how that works out, but boy, real warm temperatures with this time of the year should be in the 60s. Um, a McCall right now, still those high clouds around tomorrow. I think we'll see sunshine and high clouds. That south breeze will probably pick up on Pay at Lake again tomorrow. Moving away from McCall towards the north, and the North Shore will be a little bit breezy and rough on the waters there. 62 degrees right now, and tomorrow's temperature probably going to be staying uh, even a little bit warmer, well into the 60s, but to staying just below 70. And Stanley changed our picture here to actually in downtown St Lower Stanley, looking towards downtown Stanley, and uh, you see blue skies, beautiful day, 63 degrees, getting chilly in the morning though. Another cold night ahead tonight. Looking ahead this weekend, the Boise State game, Fresno State in town, partly cloudy skies. Now keep an eye on this. There's that slight chance for a shower in the mountains. I don't think anything's going to happen. I think we'll probably just have that partly cloudy sky. It could be breezy. The charts aren't showing it, but the way the weather pattern is setting up, uh, it could be breezy. So I'm going to keep an eye on that as well. But if it is, even a little bit of a breeze will tend to keep the temperature up. 68 should be about the high for the day, somewhere between 4 and 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock kickoff, and then by 9 o'clock down to 60. It won't be a rapid cool down, especially if we have a breeze uh, with some cloud cover. But it may cool back into the 50s before the game is over. So that's this weekend. Right now, looking dry. Cool temperatures to the east in the 50s and 60s. 87 San Francisco. Central California again getting above 90 degrees. Here's Boise now at 76 and so only 64 in Pocatello. Our weather is coming in from the west and some strong southwest winds aloft will bring that mild weather in. It's in the 60s in the mountains with a few high thin clouds around. That's really about it. You look at the wind speeds. We've got those good southeasterly winds today. Tomorrow could be even a little bit stronger at times and then we go ahead towards Wednesday and look at this. Wednesday afternoon could be breezy and dramatically cooler. So Tomorrow, 78, only in the mid 60s on Wednesday. So that big change coming in. But in the meantime, these high clouds here, what's going to obscure that sunshine a little bit tomorrow? The main front here won't come through tomorrow night. That allows the heat to come in. But boy, that's a big storm system sitting offshore with real chilly weather behind it. That chilly weather comes in at least a portion of it for Wednesday and Thursday. But the gusty winds will bring in the warm weather during the day tomorrow. Let's take a look at that forecast chart. It shows a lot of cloud cover to the west, but you see windy and warm conditions. And that'll be a story across the Treasury Valley. For the forecast for tomorrow, 78. I'm thinking it'll be about 77 to 80, depending where you are. With sunshine, a few high clouds, a good southeasterly breeze gusting over 30 at times in the afternoon, blowing all those leaves around. If you're planning on doing raking, don't bother tomorrow. It's just going to blow into the neighbor's yard anyway. Temperatures into the 60s, 70s in Boise County tomorrow. So this is pretty warm for this time of year in the mountains. East Central Mountains, Stanley Sun Valley getting into the mid 60s, breezy, especially in Fairfield. So warm temperatures in the East Central Mountains. And in the Magic Valley, breezy with temperatures around 76 and twin tomorrow. My underside extended forecast near 80 tomorrow, and then the big shocking drop in temperature to 65 with a chance to showers, maybe even a morning thunderstorm on Wednesday. A lot of cloud cover making it feel even cooler than the 60s, and then it could warm up to be a nice weekend. A few clouds are possible on Saturday, but I think we're going to be breaking into the sunshine in a pretty nice end of the weekend. Warm too. it up big time, at least for another day. Yeah. All right. Got it. Thanks, Scott. Coming up next, a nurse is the second person diagnosed with Ebola in the U.S. And investigators are trying to get to the bottom of how she contracted the disease, the virus.